Every year, more than 1,000 civil engineers and technicians from around the world undertake their professional review at the Institution of Civil Engineers. It's a key stage in members' professional development as they gain internationally recognized qualifications. Well, today, around 200 members are gathering here at the institution's headquarters in the heart of Westminster, London, to receive their awards. The Certificate Presentation Ceremony is a great opportunity to celebrate the success, the hard work, the commitment that our newly qualified members put in to get to where they are in their careers. It's a great occasion, it's lovely to see the families here, it's full of excitement and joy. And six months previous to the day when we hold the uh, Certificate Ceremony, the same individuals will be somewhere in the UK taking their professional reviews. And it's a completely different environment, stressed, under a lot of pressure, and it's just so great to see them back here enjoying themselves and the building, um, and it's richly deserved. And it's my great pleasure to welcome you to the Institution of Civil Engineers. Holly Graham. It was really exciting to get the award. I was very nervous at the start, but um, I'm glad. I'm glad it's over. I'm glad it was. It was very smooth, very quick, and I'm happy. I'm happy that I've got it. Philip Jackson. The ceremony uh, and the, the surroundings are amazing to actually come into these buildings, look at up all the pictures, all the engineers that preceded us. Uh, the, the, even the ceiling is amazing in the Great Hall. And I just find it humbling uh, to actually just be here and, uh, and be part of that procedure and just to be saying, well, it's just little old me that's been recognised as something. Wow. The professional review is the final step in the process of becoming professionally qualified with the Institution of Civil Engineers. It, uh, it consists of an hour, an hour and a bit interview with two uh, senior people in the field, senior members, and the candidates has an opportunity to demonstrate to them that has met a certain set of attributes, a high competence and standards and skills. Uh, it, the conversation is based largely on the documentation and information that the candidate himself or herself has provided to the reviewers. Srinivas Komandradu. Throughout the review, I think I was feeling more comfortable. I started with the presentation and then the interview went on. Um, the questions were more um, oriented towards my experience and my reports. The reviewers were very cooperative in terms of guiding me towards the answer that they would be expecting. So that way I was feeling more comfortable. One thing the review really gives you is confidence. And when you bring it all together and you, under you see for the first time what it is you do actually know and what you've actually done, then you have the confidence to say in retrospect, well, I could have even done that earlier. What kind of support do you get from the institution? Well, there's obviously plenty of lectures and talks and lots of training that's available. And you also have your development officer who's there to guide you through the actual process of what you need to submit and what you need to make sure you have completed. Civil engineering is a global workplace and our qualifications, the institution's qualifications, are recognised worldwide as being a high standard, if not the high standard, of professional competence for civil engineers to practice anywhere around the world. And so it gives our members that opportunity to carry with them, if you like, a passport for their careers that they can take and demonstrate to others that they've attained that very high standard. Well, well having those initials after your name, what will that mean to you for your job and your career? In, in, terms, in terms of the job, it means people are more, more likely to respect or your opinion because they know they are now professionally qualified. They look at you with more respect. And in terms of career-wise, it, it opens up a lot more doors. Career-wise, it's good for me moving forward in my career. It's going to help me go forward to get the next incorporated um, qualification and it'll open doors. I think everyone should continue to do CPD. It's a really important part of your career and a really important part of what, of what you do. Continually learning, especially at the moment with uh, so many changes in the world, the digital environment that's going on that I lead at the moment, I think is a fundamental part. And I think if we can keep that learning going and work within the network and work within the, uh, the institution, I think uh, everyone will benefit in, in the long term. All that studying, all the project work that you did, was it worth it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, the 
all of the learning, all of the experience that I've gained has been fantastic. Um, I've had opportunities to work on a range of projects this, in this country, overseas, all of which great. But the main thing really is about confidence. I think the chartership for me has really brought together all of that knowledge and made me feel com confident that I'm a competent engineer and that I'll continue to be so. Was it worth it? Uh, yes, of course it was. It's just great to be here today. And uh, sometimes filling in the forms were difficult and my wife had to chase me to do that. <laughs> but uh, having done that, I'm really proud. I will remember the feeling of elation and just feeling that, oh, now I think I have to pass the button on, try to help other people. Because after, after they achieving it, you feel like this is it. I need to help other people get it as well.